Hi guys, we have some great news for you today from many different token claims, token announcements, as well as really nice surprise airdrops, as well as a lot of time sensitive information. So let's get started immediately. Starting with Hyper Foundation, so Hyperliquid is launching their token. And the most important thing for you to do right now is if you've been farming Hyperliquid, you have to go to hyperfoundation.org forward slash Genesis. Here you need to accept their terms and conditions, and you need to do that before November 11th if you want to receive their airdrop. This is the same deal that we had to do with that per meme coin for the launch of Hyperliquid Layer 2. Moving into grass, so the final checker for airdrop one will be October 21st. And of course, this is just a checker, so stay safe and please don't sign any on-chain transactions. This will only be the criteria to show you how many tokens you're getting. And for the October 21st, on the same date, we're also going to get a TG, so token generation event for TEP protocol. Maybe there will also be some announcements very, very soon regarding the airdrop potentially, as well as our coin list allocations. So stay tuned for that, potentially already in the Bitcoin video this week. And one of the biggest other news in the last couple of days was that Uniswap is launching their own chain, Unichain. And while the testnet is currently live, it is not very speculated that there's going to be another Uniswap airdrop considering we already had one long long time ago but it is built on Superchain and if this refers to Optimism we all know how Optimism is very very airdrop friendly so it really doesn't hurt to play around with this a little bit. Santiago is already preparing a full step-by-step -step tutorial for Unichain so look out for that in the next couple of days. And if you're maximizing your scroll marks in the last pre-snapshot dates, which is, of course, October 19th, you may as well go with Turtle Club and get some extra points with them because there's also an additional scroll badge that you can actually get called Turtle Badge, and this will might all have some positive criteria for upcoming scroll airdrop. Now let's move into a really, really nice surprise from Sui. So there was a deep book protocol that was giving us some NFTs a couple months ago, and we really didn't think much of it, but it turns out it's actually worth maybe even a couple thousand dollars in some cases. So if you've been active on Sui, you've been receiving this deep book airdrop a while ago, and all you have to do is you have to cash it in, which means that you unlock your tokens. They're already tradable and you can already sell them. And the best part is that sometimes these surprises hit the hardest. Of course, Sui has been one of the best performing blockchains over the last couple of months. And if you still don't have any exposure to it, you should definitely reconsider. And another thing to note that, guys, sometimes we don't talk about this, but the social proof, the fact that airdrops are still real, that the people are still making money, it is beautiful to see because sometimes that's all you need, a little bit of motivation after, of course, maybe some disappointments of Layer 0, ZK Sync. We all thought we would make six figures there, but after all, these things are still happening. They're real. And sometimes community like our Discord can really help you to see what's possible, what's happening, and what is actually airdrops in a nutshell. Of course, it's not just social proof. We track many active airdrops. We talk about new strategies all the time. For example, this humanity pre-enrollment, for example. Personally, I'm more of a farmer where you use multiple wallets to do some stuff. But at the end of the day, if you spend 15, 30 minutes and get, get a couple hundred or even a couple thousand dollars, it is very, very worthwhile. For example, like this humanity protocol, you can only do it with one wallet because that's the nature of this airdrop, but it might actually be very, very beneficial. If you want to be a part of this community, make sure to check out our subscriptions page where you can see all the information for monthly, yearly plans, as well as an airdrop tracking application. And of course, we have our passive income NFT generating you 10% passive income every month at minimum. And continuing with nice surprises, we're going to be getting a Pyth airdrop allocation for Zeroland stakers. So if you remember, Zeroland was one of the not great airdrops of last couple of months, but perhaps since most people probably just dump their tokens, if you've actually staked, you might be getting a nice allocation of Pyth. Now, regarding this, you still have a couple more days to participate in this. And if you do so, you have until October 22nd to complete all of these tasks on Intrek. And speaking of Intrect, if you have been doing this quite a lot, you might have 100 gems. And in that case, you definitely want to get your OG Voyager badge, which is only going to be available for five more days as we're making this video. So don't waste any time. And finally, if you're in a geo-blocked jurisdiction, which means that you are not able to actually do anything with Pyth, staking or otherwise, then of course there are workarounds. You can either disable your VPN and hope for the best or alternatively, oh, whoa, whoa. how did that get in there? Of course, there are ways, there are ways, but we cannot talk about that for obvious reasons.
And as mentioned earlier, if you want to stake some zero land tokens, you can do so until October 22nd when this campaign is still ongoing. Of course, we've already connected our EVM and Solana wallets for previous Zerland campaigns, but if you still haven't done that and you're staking Zerland, then make sure to connect the, those wallets to receive your allocations. And finally, last couple of news coming from Solve Protocol. So Solve is one of the premier Bitcoin's liquid staking platforms and they've raised another $25 million, which means that it is definitely one of the best places to park your Bitcoin if you want to use it actively in DeFi. And last piece of information is from Diamante. Apparently, there's been so much left, right, up, down. Is this a scam? Is it not? Is it a carbon copy of ICP? I'm just going to say... It might be something, it might be nothing. Be very careful with this one. And I'm definitely not connecting my main wallets to claim Diamante airdrop. But of course, there's a lot of mixed uh, mixed feelings, <laughs> mixed uh, everything regarding this. But again, if you don't want to miss out and you want to stay on the safe side, maybe just connect some of your secondary or tertiary wallet groups and that's it. For my fellow Dijans, I will leave the DM Twitter in the description. As always, all the links of everything we talk about are always in the first link of the description of this video. It will take you to our website and there you will find everything. And that's a wrap for everything for the topics of today. If you like the content, you know what to do. Like and subscribe with bell notifications. Any questions, drop them in the comment sections below. If you're serious about crypto, airdrops and DeFi in general, we are waiting for you in our Discord. And as always, thanks for watching. Have an amazing day.